Happy Valentine's Day, Leos. Even if you are single, happy Valentine's Day because you're giving yourself self-love. Okay, this reading is for Leo for Valentine's Day, February 14th, year 2023. Please check your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. This is a general reading. Allah, please remove any negative energy from my environment and myself. Allah, please remove any negative energy from my tarot cards, my spinner, my crystal ball, <laughs> from any previous readings. Allah, please allow 200 angels to come in and enter this reading to guide me through. Anyone out there practicing any witchcraft, hoodoo, voodoo that you do, I rebuke you in the name of Allah. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And I rebuke you in the name of Prophet Muhammad Akbar. May peace and blessings be upon him. And I rebuke you in the name of Noble Drew Ali. May he bestow wisdom and guidance in this reading. Leo, some of you gained some victory, some success. And then I'm hearing someone is in regret. I'm hearing Leo's say, oh, well, I changed my focus. Your focus on your new path. Some of you Leos have a life purpose. And you're focusing on that. Allah, show me the Leos who are gaining victory and success. Eight of Cups. You could have walked away from a situation. You got tired of, you know, the current stale, stagnant energy. You went towards your happiness. Eight of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But this is your emotions here. You're looking for happiness elsewhere. Some of you possibly could be relocating or thinking about it. Some of you have a job, but you're looking for a better paying job. You're going to keep the job that you have, but you're going to look for um, another occupation. This is you changing um, your focus on certain things, certain issues that no longer serve you. So you're working on yourself. Allah, show me the person who is in regret. Yeah, they're heartbroken with the three of swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, they could have caused you some type of pain. They thought that you was going to chase them, but instead you chased the trappings of success. Now this person is missing you. They have time to sit and think about their choices. Yeah, baby, Leo's is focused on the nine of pentacles. Some of you are single, you're vibrant, you know, you got over it. <laughs> Just dust it off, you got over it. So now your money is safe, your money is building up, okay? Um, you are just focused on your success right now. Allah, please send Leo 200 angels to stand guard, guide, and protect. Look, focus on your success. Allah, please send me 200 angels to stand, guard, guide, and protect me. Justice is being served. <laughs> Allah, I do not partner you with my divination. 
but I ask of you to guide me through so that this reading can be truthful, accurate, and honest. Look, hate to see you shine, Leo. I hate to see you shine. Jealous of my partner, family, and friend. So there's people that hates to see you shine. Yeah, you could be going to law school. Um, some, you know, you're gaining a, you're, you are gaining their authority back over your life, and you are more intuitive than ever. Somebody does not want you to close out a chapter. Somebody doesn't want you to come to the conclusion that they can never come back into your life. Okay, a union. During this separation and you're focusing on your success, you're focused on your victory, confirmation. Please be careful because this person is coming back to disturb you. And I know some of your Leos is not going to let this person back in, okay? This person was, you know, childish. They, they wanted to preserve you, okay? Now they see you reaching for your desires, they could stay with that, that copycat. They could stay with those people or person who is basically mocking you because of your life purpose. So some of you Leos are very intuitive, gifted, and talented. You have a life purpose, and that, that's crazy for them to sit there and try to slander, gossip you, you know, just because you think differently, you want a good life. And they look at, you know, the house, the car, the kids, the, the white picket fence, and the dog as it's bad. Okay? They look at it like education is bad. And they look at the bad as if it is good. Okay? And this is because these people, they don't have a vision. And also, they don't know God or the other ascending masters. They don't, they don't have a connection. So because you remain focused throughout the pain. And you strive to do better than you was yesterday. Then you are moving swiftly towards your desire. You're feeling the collaboration. Some of you could be studying, learning information. Studying, going back to school. Or you're just, whatever you have, the knowledge that you have, you're enhancing it, okay? You have teamwork. To bring you that balance. This serpent that is coming back does not want you to get that key. This is a clown. And the clown was having others control their direction. Now they're looking at you as if you are whole. You're balanced. Okay? And, you know, luck is on your side. They think that, that oh, you're so lucky. Every moon phase, they try to throw something at you. But it didn't work. I guarantee you, whatever negative energy, whatever they were trying to put towards you, even if it's the matters of the heart, you pull through, you push through, you know, and now whatever is reflecting on these moon phases is reflecting back on the people or person involved. Some of you could be tarot readers. Some of you are into tarot. Um, of course, <laughs> You're possibly looking for a tarot reader to tell you this, but you're studying the science of tarot. And that world, that atlas, that globe, okay, this is which direction should I go, okay? Control and direction. Yes, yeah, somebody was trying to control your direction. Well, now they have to make a decision because you knew in the background somebody was trying to play in your energy. But it didn't work because you can sleep good at night while this person or people are trying to resolve, put out fires. You released all the greedy people in your life. You released them. <laughs> and now you're receiving your blessings Why they or this person be sacrificed. 
Now, when I say sacrificed, they, they deceived themselves, Leo, by trying to block you, come up against you, or hurt you. They sacrificed the relationship. They sacrificed the foundation, but they forgot who is stable. You're stable. So this person now sees how experienced you are. You could be going to a higher ranking in job, career, education. And you're using your imagination, okay? You're using your intuition to guide you to your mark in this world. A situation humbled you. Something with this sacrifice, it's like whatever it is, it's hitting, it's hitting hard. Someone's doing the illumination, the, the illumination here. They're trying to find out where they went wrong. Yeah, because they're restricted. Now, since this person is gone or the people out your life is gone, there's no more confrontation. There's no more losses. Learning impersonation. Some of you could be inspiring actors. You could be poets. You could be singers. You could be, be musicians. But this is also that copycat energy where somebody was trying to impersonate you. Well, they got called out on that. Show me who got called out on that. Wow. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Sitting there watching you. Now, they don't like you. They, have, they feel some type of way, which this is jealousy and envy. But now they're sitting there watching you. Allah, why is the Seven of Pentacles here? You know what? I'm going to put that back in. Bye, hater. Allah, show me the current energy for Leo. Six of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody kept their promise or you received a surprise gift. Or this is involving a relationship. Not only a relationship when it comes to the matters of the heart. But this is the relationship where it comes to the matters of the mind. All right? The relationship to build yourself up. And also to move up spiritually ranking. So some of you moved up higher in spiritual rank. Show me the six of cups. I guarantee you the person behind this isn't full of regret. Or this is a new love that is coming back to you. I'm sorry, not coming back to you. That is with you now. This person that's in regret wants to come back to you. But there's some Leos that found new love here. And it's too late for that person. Because this new person got to be heaven sent. So as this person that's separated from you on Val, like for they're in their emotions on Valentine's Day. Because they know that they betrayed you. The Six of Cups and the Ten of Swords. They want to, this is the lying, gossip, okay, slander. They packed up what they could and they moved on. Or you did this. But now somebody's in their thoughts. It's because they're under judgment. You came out victorious. Allah, show me Leo's victory. Yeah, nine of cups. Damn right, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So the zodiacs we got on the, on the table is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Show me more of Leo's victory here, the wish fulfillment, the desire, 
Leos that's receiving. The Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. You stood up for yourself. You stood up for your belief systems. Okay, you stood up. You stood your ground. And by you doing that, and you're not backing down, and you're remaining focused, job well done. See, you're high vibrational. Okay, very intuitive. Anything that you start, you will finish. This is success. Somebody's in their feelings, king of cups, two of wands. Now, you could have water in your chart. You can be Leo, Cancer, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? But somebody's in their feelings. They want to text you. It's behind their, their decisions that brought them burdens. They're depressed because they lost everything. They lost you. And they feel left out in the cold. Show me more of Leo's victory. The Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the success, the victory, and the sun. You're shining so bright and beautifully. Yeah, you're the boss. Some of you have children. You have to play both roles, okay? Your children love you if you have them, but you took back that authority. You've been you you're doing what you are supposed to be doing. You didn't you didn't get off track. You didn't get off course here. But this person or people did, and they're facing judgment. And you said, for some of you Leos, if you keep going down this path, you're gonna receive your karma. And this exactly what's happening. They got a lot of baggage. That's a lot of heavy energy. And you over here basking in happiness. Yeah. You got the chariot at the bottom of the deck. So you balanced out the light and the dark. Okay. You worked on your shadow side. And you're very well balanced. This person hasn't worked on their shadow side yet. But they're gaining some acknowledgement of what they had done to you. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is sitting and just, just sitting there being miserable. This person is not happy. This person wants to come towards you. Okay? Six of Swords. They want to move to common waters with you. That, that, it's a wheel turning in your favor. There was a cycle period with this... this this wheel of fortune here, those are the great changes because you had to go through the ups and downs, whether that's bills, whether that's, you know, taking care of the household, taking care of yourself, going to work, going to school, you balance everything out. So with this wheel of fortune and this two of pentacles here, there's going to be great changes for you. This person also thought that it was cool to manipulate you some way, somehow trying to play on your feelings. Leo said, look, I'll turn the other cheek. <laughs> I'm not playing those games. This is a message that you possibly had to hear. Now, it could have been family involved, okay? Or this is just your investments paying off. Somebody can't sleep. They can't. You have the Ten of Pentacles and you have the Eight of Pentacles. This is you focusing on your life, your life purpose, your finances, okay? Your peace, your happiness. Those pentacles is what you planted, so if you planted negative energy, if you planted those negative seeds, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a long time to grow. The only thing it is, it's just going to be mirroring effect of negativity. But if you planted the positive seeds to have that balance, which I see that you've done, then bravo to you. Somebody wants to talk to you. But this person, okay, talked a lot of crap. Childish crap behind you. And I guarantee you, an angel went and reported. Yeah, the nine of wands. Seven of cups, different options. This person was reckless. 
you know, didn't have any structure, very disobedient, and now certain things is happening. Unexplainable events, okay? But you have different resources. Always remember the Seven of Cups, it's whatever you put in your cups. Once when the fog had cleared, you used these Seven of Cups as your resources. And as you was focusing on yourself and minding your business, somebody was literally trying to wound you. And that didn't work. Now, now this person want to come back with the Knight of Cups making you an offer because they damn tower falling. Wherever they at, whoever they around, the tower is falling, okay? And you know me, when I see the roof on top of that, uh, the, that's, that's on fire on top of that roof, somebody got burnt. <laughs> they got burnt, <laughs> okay? You have the foundation. Like I said, you have the stability. This is the truth. With the Ace of Swords. Yes, you cried so much. Yes, you did. This person was playing on your energy, playing with your big heart. Now it's happening to that person, Nine of Swords. And Leos, I know you're not wishing nothing bad on this person or these people, but it's happening to them through God. So somebody's going over in their head, over the pain that they had caused you. So now they want to give to you because they're trying their damnest to find you to find something, to see a picture, to do something. You went in and you did soul searching and you actually started giving to yourself. This is what helped balance out the scales so justice can be served. We got justice and we got judgment here. Your ships is coming in. Trust me, they're coming in now. Allah confirm the Hermit, Six of Pentacles, Justice, and the Three of Wands. For Leos, this Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this person's tower is falling, but she or he is spying. They see you being strong, independent, okay? With the Ace of Cups, your great joy, your happiness. They see you manifesting here. Queen of Wands. Six of Wands is success. Yes, so keep going. Because whoever was playing in your energy or was trying to do anything to you to block you, the more you keep pushing ahead, the, the more this person's life falls apart. Yeah, try to slow it down. Try to stop you. Eight of Cups. You walked away from that. You walked away. You're like, you know what? I don't got time for that. This person was really trying to slow down and stop your money. Try to stop something. Your blessings. Could have been your money. Could have been a job. Could have been anything. Your marriage. This person thought they had power over a marriage, but God is the one that holds the power. There's going to be an argument that's going to pop up pertaining to this Queen of Pentacles and this King of Pentacles here. Now, the Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles, it could be an auntie, a mother, a sister, a cousin. It could be anybody, okay? But this person obviously wounded um, a marriage here. And this ain't the first relationship that this um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn had ruined. But an argument is going to take place in between the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles real fast. This is probably why your person is in deep regret because if they're with family members, if they with another female or another male, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. They want to walk away and come back to you. But this person is under judgment, okay? And they see that you are content. So this person is not coming back healed. They're coming back to make sure nobody else have you. Or, you know, try to block you from your blessings. God is not going to bless you if this person is, is coming back unhealed. So everything is going to be on delay for you once again. Look at this. The right way or the wrong way in reverse. This is how this person is coming back. 
or wants to come back. Yeah, arguing, fighting. This you're not going through this anymore. And frankly, some Leos don't want that back in their damn house. This high priest is here. Was targeting you. Now, it's backfired. Now people are looking at this high priestess as enemy, public enemy number one. Very dishonest. If you want to be trusted, be honest. So this, this Virgo, this high priestess is being questioned. Somebody is drowning in their emotions, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is drowning in their emotions. Somebody could like to drink. Show me Leo. Leo is following their passion. Show me more for Leo. Yeah, you could be a, a signal father. Okay, co-parenting. Your child could be your passion. You love your children. Could be a single mother or single father here. Yeah, you love music. Some of you like to smoke bud. We got shooting here. This person was targeting you. Why you minding your business? Divorce is here. Divorce separation. Somebody wants to come out of that, but it's too late. This person, drug dealer, hard work, hustler, in reverse. This person doesn't work hard, okay? This person possibly has some entanglements to do with drugs, but if not, this person's not a hard worker. They want another chance. Pay attention is here. You can't trust this person as far as you could throw them. If you want to be trusted, be honest. So this high priestess, Virgo energy I'm picking up, Virgo Gemini energy, and this King of Pentacles. They're both liars together. I feel like this is he or she's family members. This is the truth with the Ace of Swords. Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. So there's going to be some detachment to their family once again, or they want to detach. They're facing karma with this person, but you over here, like, literally, this person or people always takes over your reading. Show me more of Leo's success and victory. Yeah, this person is a liar. I don't want, to, I don't want perfect. I want honest. That's all what Leo wants. They don't want perfect. They just want honesty. We got three cards out here that represents somebody being a liar. And Leo is saying, single? No, I'm just in a relationship with my freedom. You like your freedom. They want to come back and say, I love you. Leo's like, I know. This person was not a good husband or a good wife. Leo's like, I'm not going back down that road with you again. You are a mystery to them. Their faith and their ethics is being tested. Don't touch me. They shot their angels down. Somebody could be a single mother here. A single mother has a backbone made of steel and a heart of gold. Okay, somebody could be bisexual or into the same sex. Somebody's on some drugs here or selling it. Somebody don't want to sell it anymore. They don't want to work hard. So this isn't for everybody, but they don't want to work hard. So what they do, they've kept going back to the past, selling drugs. Now their past is catching up with them. This emperor here could be a baby father, a husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever. But somebody wants to do things their own way. Until God set them down. 
you are moving up in the career or you are moving up in spiritual ranks. This person moved up in being dishonest. This There's a lot of dishonesty here with these people or this person. Look, gossip, lies, backbiting. Okay, and the results, the results is you still. <laughs> so the more they give you a tongue lashing behind your back, the more they try to throw something at you. Okay, you just kept going. You just kept going. So the results, the results, please. You have job opportunities, okay? So they can't cross the line to do a damn thing. They crossed the line with God. So they thought it was going to be, you know, easy for them to stay safe and have fun after they try to betray you, okay? They're, they're angry. They're pissed off because you're receiving rewards while their tower is falling. <laughs> God's not hearing them. No blessings. There's a cycle period that closed to where they're, they're going to have to do everything themselves with no, you know, divinely help, no spiritual guidance. But no, no one is handing anything to your person or these people because they tried to stab you in the back and others playing with this damn witchcraft shit. And you are an emperor or an empress that is focused on success and they are focused on addictions. So now something happened to where they're being talked about. They're being gossiped about. And others, even though they don't know what's going on in your life because you are a mystery, they don't know. They're making false assumptions. They're sitting there making things up. And people is like, oh, no, I saw Leo such and such day. And what you said was a lie. You know, people are starting to see the truth. And the truth will always set you free. People are afraid of the truth. Ah, look, Leo moved up in spiritual rankings, heavenly supported. Since that person or people has been gone, the negative energy is gone. Your life feels lighter. karmic family jealous because you're chosen by God. That could be ex-in-laws. It could be your family. It could even be friends. Jazz or Jasmine. If the names don't apply, don't force it. Damn. You're protected by a law, angels, and ancestors. Excuse me. You was raised in a loving home with both parents. They taught you. They raised you right for some Leos. Yeah, those people or person is unbalanced. Somebody that they're getting eviction, eviction notice or not stable. Now, Leo, you're stronger and more wiser you can't be fooled. Allah is returning all that was lost. You're going to school, higher education. Allah is causing endings for your person or people because they hurt you and you were innocent for some. You're reaching your goals and you changed your focus. Oh, Allah... <laughs> Allah wants me to tell you that this person feels like that they don't deserve you. No job, education, poverty. Prophet Muhammad Akbar, may peace and blessings be upon him, is here. They're under investigation. You're, okay. They thought that they were doing something. So... You're thinking you're doing something, being evil. You're only deceiving yourself. So Prophet Muhammad Akbar, may peace and blessings be upon him, is saying that they thought that they were doing something, but instead they just deceived themselves. 
my family is jealous of you. Okay, so this could be ex-in-laws or it could be whoever. They're jealous of you. Somebody's rushing in to talk to you, Leo. Because they know that you know that they lied about you. They lied about you. Someone by the name of Jennifer. Someone tried to rob your energy. Now, I tried to rob you means tried to rob your energy, your finances. You know, try to copy you, try to be you. Somebody tried to take something from you. Even if it's just energy. Michelle. Ooh. Somebody was a little bit too close to their brother or sister. Sister, brother, mother, incest. I'm my brother, sister, mother's mistress here. But I feel like there's brothers and sisters that's a little bit too close. Too close for comfort. This new love is heaven sent. And this is why this person is thinking about, your past person is thinking about the relationship. Because they know that you have a lot to offer the table. Okay. They're like, damn, Leo used to do this and Leo used to do that. And when I was with Leo and, and then they're with the person, they're with the karmic. And they're like, well, why don't you go back to Leo? So this is why they're, they're trying to come back, even if it's their karmic ass dysfunctional family. Okay, they're like, well, why don't you go back to her? Or why don't you go back to him? They don't know if you'll take him back. So people, this is for you, Leo. There was some people in your past that was telling you about this person and the family that they come from. So people told me your whole family was no good. Lesson learned. Yeah, going. you're going to heaven. Going to heaven. Change one's life for the better. So some of you Leos really changed your life and you know you're gonna go to heaven because you're remaining on that that's that's that straight path. Alright? And that's a beautiful thing to see. It could be a business owner, your business owner, okay, and like I said, they're watching you win. Now I have to go back to this card. Going to heaven. Change one's life for the better. Some of you Leos, when y'all was younger, y'all was tough. Okay? You've been through a lot of things. And that's what woke you up. Okay? That's what made you want to do things better. Whether if you come from a karmic family. Okay? Thank that karmic family. Thank your family for being an asshole. Being karmic. Thank that family member for throwing, you know, witchcraft on you. And I know it may sound crazy. But that karmic family taught you how to spiritually protect yourself how to identify a spiritual attack so Allah wants me to tell you like thank you karmic family I have a life purpose that you was jealous of and you just made me stronger somebody's a drug user or a drug dealer that's not for everybody Ex-in-laws are stalking. You have paradise on earth, place of perfect beauty and happiness. So you're content. You're happy. There's nothing going on. Somebody's going to say, get out of my house. Or you told somebody to get out of your house. But this, this blow up that your, your person is going to go through, somebody's going to kick them out. And they're going to go to physical jail. Heaven sees, heaven sees everything. An angel went back to report. So this is why they're receiving their karma. Okay? I'm an abuser. What I did to you, I do to others. So this person is doing the same thing to, their, to, to whoever they are with. Whether it's a boyfriend, girlfriend, a relative. They are still being narcissistic abusers. So they want to play nice with you. They want to play nice. They're not coming in healed. They're not coming in awakening. Yes, they gained some clarity over what they did, but how many times are, are they going to obtain the same clarity that they, they should have been clear of in the first place? Nobody's playing ring around a rosy with life. Nobody's playing duck, duck, duke, duck, duck, goose, okay? 
This person literally is like playing duck, duck, goose. Duck, 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 goose. And then expects for you to always allow them to come back. God said no. This person needs to find their own apartment, get a job, do whatever, do whatever it is they have to do. Judgment times 20. We are bad luck. So they, they all are bad luck and they're receiving that judgment. They're burning in hell on earth. Jealous because you're an upstanding citizen. So these people are jealous of you because you are an upstanding citizen. I am jealous of you. Even your person was jealous of you. Some of you could be Baptists, okay? The Reverend John Smith was the one who had um, funded the Baptists. Like, literally, born 1554, okay, and died 1612, age 57, 58, in Amsterdam, Dutch Republic. And we have Jehovah here. So we have Baptists, we have the Islam, and we have Jehovah. Wants me to tell you, head towards the future. Ain't that something? We got John Smith, the founder of uh, Baptist Church. Okay, the Reverend John Smith. We have Jehovah, okay? And we have Prophet Muhammad Akbar, may peace and blessings be upon him, saying, head towards the future. <laughs> because those, that person, their family, whoever, they use people. Bastard, unpleasant, despicable. They still want to come back in that energy? A baby is coming. God's blessing, Leo. These people are stuck in limbo, hell of the damned, the edge of hell. God is tearing these people up. I snitched, that's why I got out of a drug bus, so somebody definitely was dealing with some drugs here. But like I said, they're having memories of good times with you. I know the karmic isn't better than you, but she's easy to lie to. Makalima, yeah. So Makalima is the ultimate power, destruction, and change. Goddess of war, anger, time, okay? Cosmic energy, destroy evil in order to defend the innocent. So Kalima is here to defend you, like really destroying these people. So yeah, people in the community are looking down on them. It's okay. This is what your person or whoever wants to say. It's my fault. And I let my family interfere because I'm a coward. They're stuck in purgatory. They're stuck in purgatory. They don't know God or ascending masters. Like I said, some of you, <laughs> I made this card. I made this card. I picked up the energy. So some Leos is saying, I'm tired of tarot readers who sing and talk about them. Unsubscribe. <laughs> yeah, these people is going to the abyss, man. They're they're literally they're 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 going through something spiritually. Someone is dying from a serious disease. You changed your number or blocked them. Since they left you, their life went backwards and they lost everything. This person's never going to heaven. They're drowning in sin. 
Show me more for Leo. Career and education, that's what you're focused on. Listen, they stalk you. They try to. They, they're literally, I, we have no life. I, we stalk you. You're balanced. That's what they're seeing. Focus on your abundance. Listen. I let my family put witchcraft on you because I wanted you to fail. Even your person wanted you to fail and it didn't happen. This is why they're in so deep regret. And now their past is catching up with them. You're too high vibrational. Leo is saying, <laughs> your problem, not mine. Noble Drew Ali, this is for the Morsh Americans. Ooh, came out with Allah al Mamit. Allah, Allah al Mamit is, is the name of God that destroys. The destroyer, the bringer of death on your enemy. Codependent, need help, can't take care of myself. So when you got Kalima and you got Allah al Mamit, that level of God. To destroy and bring death to the witchcraft and bring death to the blockage and bring death to the lies and bring death to the deception. That's bad on them. And you didn't wish no harm upon them, but it's because they kept attacking you some way, somehow. They kept slandering you some way, somehow. That's terrible when you got Kalima and Allah, I'll admit. To destroy? That's wrath. That's wrath. So, it's hitting them. And like I said, you're not wishing nothing upon them. But it's what they did to themselves. Because they're too focused on you. They're not even focused on their own lives. And Leo is like, that's not my problem. Leos are now... And this energy of your problem is your problem. It's not my problem. I'm balanced. <laughs> so whoever, whoever try to get over on you on anything. Oh, no, no. They, they're, they're, they're not. They don't know what the hell they done got themselves into. You got, you got a lot. Kalima, and I know Allah has no partner. None. And Allah doesn't need a partner. But that's some serious, that's serious right there. Whoa. Allah, what's the advice for Leo? I think I already gave y'all the, the advice. And that's head towards your future. This queen of pentacles, whatever she or he did, man, you don't got nothing to do with this. This person is wounded. Oh, Allah, give me the... I'm going to make a Virgo reading, a Virgo reading. I'm feeling like this is a Virgo. Could be a Taurus or a Capricorn. This person is going through it for what they did. They stuck in a damn past. Yeah, whatever they was doing with this devil. Whatever this queen of pentacles was doing, they are wounded. It went back. Now they stuck in the past for everything that they did. Yeah, they're ten of swords. Wait a minute. Allah, confirm this. Allah, confirm. Confirm this queen of pentacles with this tower, the nine of wands. The hangman and a devil with the ten of swords. Ooh, Leo, somebody paying some dear karma for you. They going to jail. Either physical jail or spiritual jail here. Ooh. Very low vibrational.
They regret everything. This Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Ooh. Because you're too damn balanced, Leo. And I'm telling you, they're watching you win. Your problem, not mine. This person is a drug user or a drug dealer. Whoever your person is attached to with this Queen of Pentacles, they let them put witchcraft on you. Your person knew what they were doing. But every time you kept mentioning it, back then they would get mad. Say, so yeah, they're stuck in limbo for that. Yeah, they're going to the abyss. Damn, they're being ripped to shreds. Yeah, Allah, al mamit the destroyer, the bringer of death on your enemy. You're good. So if you feel sad, if you feel, if you feel sad or feel, you know, like you're still going on with some thoughts in your mind, get out of that because that's no longer for you. You have to move towards the future now because it's beautiful. And I know a lot of you Leos are already there. Okay. Money is gone. Can see they tried this, this earth sign. Could be a Leo, could be another fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, a Capricorn. But I feel more that this right here is to, like it's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But whoever this is, they try to block your money, your relationship, and your life. Now their money is gone. Okay, could the, the names, if it don't apply, then please just let it just let it fly. So Sarita the Dark Witch wanted mind control. Wow. Somebody by the name of Jennifer. They have mental illness. You have abundance. Allah is removing all toxicity from your life. Prophet Muhammad Akbar, may peace and blessings be upon him. It's saying your light is too bright. Your light is too bright. It cannot be put out. Yeah, oh, we got Kali Ma back out here. Maha Kali. She's back out here with a lot of a mint. You ain't gotta you ain't gotta worry. You you ain't gonna uh, you have no worries right now. Ooh. So jealous of you, Leo. So jealous. Good gosh. They don't know God or the or ascending masters. What's happening? Yeah, I'm going to tell you again to head towards the future. Head towards the future. Yeah, they were raised in a broken home. No shade to anybody. You was raised in a loving home. Some of you, not all. You could have been raised in a broken home, and some of you could be raised in a home with love. My family is jealous of you. Yeah. I'm just I'm just going through. But somebody is definitely, I'm going through again to be thorough. So somebody is having good memories of you. These people are under investigation. Yep, they're going to purgatory. Jesus is here. These people are stuck in the past. Brother Jesus. Asa is saying that they are dysfunctional. Brother Jesus, Jesus, brother Jesus, Asa is saying that these people or your person caught an STD or an STI from the karmic. Any more messages, brother Jesus? You're going <laughs> to, Jesus came out where you're going to get a new car, new house, new job. You're reaching your goals and you change your focus so you can have paradise on uh, on earth. Place of perfect beauty and happiness. It's like I'm racing right now, so please forgive me for like babbling. Because people told you about this peep, the, the family or these people or person. People told you about their whole family that they were no good. And you got that lesson learned. So you learned that lesson. So you let it go. So now you can receive the blessings. Business owners. 
And you have a new love. This new love is heaven sent. What else? These people ruined other, other people's lives. Okay? And now they're getting exposed. Someone can have the name Michelle. Michelle or Michael. Jehovah is here. You caught them in a lie and spoke the truth and they got mad. You can't trust them. They're a liar. Judgment times 20. They are bad luck. So even if they do come around you, you're going to pick up on that negative energy and it's going to throw you off because they lied about you. Now you're stronger, more wiser. You can't be fooled. All witchcraft backfired times 20. We got Neon here. The witchcraft backfired on him. He's dying from a serious disease, rushing in to talk. Codependent, need help, can't take care of oneself. Like I said, some of you are tired of tarot readers who sing and talk about themselves. Unsubscribe. <laughs> You're going to heaven because you changed your life for the better. Your ex-in-laws are, are stalking you or trying to. Leo's like, look, I'm at peace without you. And you have success and victory here. Your success and your victory causes them imbalance because of what they did, trying to slow you down. So because you kept going and kept going and didn't give up, they are they they're um, imbalanced. Yes, they're jealous of you because you're an upstanding uh, citizen. Heaven sees everything. An angel went to report. You possibly told this person to get out of your house, or someone's going to tell your ex to get out. If somebody's getting kicked out, Jazz or Jasmine, poverty, despair, losers, okay? People in the community, once again, looks down on them. So everything backfired on them. Cops, feds, watching, coming. Yeah, they're done. <laughs> You're focused on your career in education. They're receiving bad karma. I, we have no life. I stalk you. Okay, John Smith the Baptist is back with John John Smith, yeah, the uh, Baptist Reverend is coming out saying that you are protected by a law, angels and ancestor. Spells hitting harder, they're losing everything. Okay, Leo, that's all I have for you. I hope that helps. And once again, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>